In this project, we're making a square pixel display with an RGB matrix in black LED acrylic. This is a 32 by 32 RGB matrix running CircuitPython in the Matrix Portal library. The electronics are mounted to a 3D printed frame on the back of the display. It's powered by the RP2040 Feather and the RGB Matrix Featherwing. Paired with the Featherwing Doubler, it's easy to swap out the feathers for future projects. The RGB Matrix Featherwing is set up so it plugs directly into the Featherwing Doubler. The frame and grid diffuser are 3D printed and snap fit together. A sheet of black LED acrylic fits over the display and it diffuses the LEDs. The 3D printed grid fits over the PCB with each LED enclosed in a square. This separates each LED and blocks the light from leaking into each square. The grid is what gives the display that iconic square pixel aesthetic. This acrylic is designed to diffuse LEDs and makes the colors really pop. The effect gets softer as it gets further away from the light source. The acrylic looks solid when the lights are off, making this kind of magical. This project uses the Matrix Portal library written by Melissa LeBlanc Williams. The code uses the library to create a slideshow player of animated sprite sheets. The images are stored on the drive and the code looks for any bitmaps in this folder. You'll want to check and update the width of your display with either a 32 or 64. The sprite sheets are a series of images that are merged together in a single bitmap. Each section in the image is a single frame of the animation that gets played from top to bottom. It's really easy to play new animations by just tossing new bitmaps onto the drive. The code automatically cycles through all of the images stored in the bitmaps folder. The stock grid and frame will be removed from the display using a screwdriver. These screws secure the display's PCB to the stock grid and frame. The two are replaced by the 3D printed counterparts so they can be set aside. This was a non-destructive teardown and was fairly easy to take apart. Rest assured you could put this back together if you ever need to. To cut the acrylic, I made a template and printed it on a sheet of paper. Using a hobby knife, I cut the square with a ruler so the cuts are nice and straight. I then proceeded to stick the paper template over the acrylic, lining it up with the bottom corner. I used a scoring tool and a ruler to carefully score the acrylic. I made several passes to get at least halfway through the sheet. You want to be really careful not to apply too much pressure. Once ready, I placed the sheet over the edge of the table and firmly snapped off the excess. The Featherwing Doubler is secured to the 3D printed frame using standoffs and screws. The frame is then fitted over the PCB with the grid diffuser on top. The black LED acrylic is fitted over the cover with the matte side facing out. The frame, PCB, and grid can then be pressed into the cover. Additional feet on the bottom allow it to stand upright so it's less likely to tip over. The IDC cable connects the display to the RGB matrix Featherwing along with the power cable. To keep the display up and running, you'll want to use a 5 volt power supply. This 10 amp 5 volt power supply is great when you want to light up all 1024 LEDs. So if you have one of these RGB matrices, I hope this inspires you to check out CircuitPython. And if you're really into square pixel displays, check out some of our other builds.